Ha! Hey everyone, Hassan here. Welcome to the world of Ha. Today, I have another Amiibo unboxing video for you. We have the latest wave of Super Smash Brothers Amiibo. I don't even know what wave this is. Uh, you'll find out in the title of this video, but I mean the waves, the numbers over the years, I, I have to, I can't even keep track anymore. But this is the first wave of Amiibo that features some of the newcomers to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and that is Inkling and Ridley, but it also features Wolf as well, uh, returning to the game, which is super cool. So I wanna do an unboxing. These have actually been out for uh, a few weeks now. Um, I'm late to doing this unboxing. I already pre-ordered these and so I had them sitting around. I just never got around to filming the video. But I wanted to do this because I know there's gonna be another wave of Amiibo releasing this month uh, that I also have pre-ordered, so stay tuned for that. But before that, we have these three right here. So um, they're continuing the similar style packaging that uh, the, the Amiibo have always had, which has got like the character featured on it. It's the Super Smash Brothers. Um, and then in the background behind the character, it says the name of the character, like Inkling. You can see Ridley in the back, Wolf. Um, the difference is in the past, they had boxes for the American uh, versions of the Amiibo and then boxes for the Japanese version. So the names would be in American or Japanese. Uh, the Amiibo are the same, they're region free, but the boxes were different. Now it seems like they're kind of just combining things because they have American name and Japanese name side by side for the boxes. So that's one difference. So for people that collect the Amiibo, um, the boxes are not all going to be consistent. That's just one downside to that. Uh, me personally, I don't care about the boxes. I don't have space to keep them all in boxes, so I tear them apart. Um, but since we're on the subject of boxes, I just want to kind of mention that. Uh, so on the back here, you can see everything is also in English and Japanese and other languages, um, but it tells you that you can use Amiibo on the Switch and 3DS, although obviously things like the Ridley Amiibo will not work on the 3DS game because... Ridley is not in the 3DS Smash Brothers, you know, um, just as an example. But then it also shows you the character in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate right there. So with that being said, now that you've seen the box, let's just get these things open. So let's start with the Inkling right here. So like I said, I don't care about the boxes. So I'm just going to tear this thing apart. Um, I have all of these on the shelf. So once they release more of the Amiibo, I'll probably do another video showing all of them. I have all of the Smash Brothers Amiibo. Uh, including the Player 2 ones and the uh, Famicom Rob. Um, so I do collect all of those. But here is the Inkling. Uh, and real quick, I just want to mention, uh, this is the Smash Brothers Inkling, right? This one is the one from Splatoon. Um, so they are different, uh, in case anybody was wondering. Uh, so if you already have the Inkling Amiibo for Splatoon, as you can see, it definitely looks different. And it looks better, the Smash Brothers one. Um, the, uh, you can see how they've evolved in their amiibo designs. Like, this looks cool, don't get me wrong, I like the ink splatter, I think that's pretty neat. Um, so that's definitely, definitely pretty cool. You know, I do like, I mean, they, they kept things, something's consistent with how they have, like, the paint, or the ink partially filled. Um, so that, that's really cool, I like those touches. But I just feel like the Smash Brothers one, the character's face and everything just kinda, it looks more alive. Um, it just, it doesn't feel, uh, it, feel, it feels a little bit more animated, if, if that makes any sense. Um, just kind of visually just looking at them, you know, so you see different poses and looks pretty cool. So, anyways, let's focus on the Smash Brothers one, right, since that's what we're here for. Um, and it looks great. They've done a really nice job. And Amiibo, all the little details, man, like, look at that, right on the shirt. I don't know if you can really, let's see if I can... Zoom in on that. Look at the detail on that. The little tag right there um, with that image with the arrows and stuff from the Splatoon games. Like, that level of detail is just incredible on, on these Amiibo. You have um, the weapon here, which I believe is the, the Splattershot or Splattershot Jr., I think, one of the two. Um, look at the sneakers. Just the detail on that, man. So good. Uh, you can obviously see the ink filling up right here, partially filled. Um, yeah, I mean, they just did a phenomenal job with all the little intricacies of the character. So, 
really looks great. Um, and all of the Smash Bros. Amiibo have the Smash logo on the base right there with the gold. So that is consistent as well. So very, very nice touch. Um, and uh, so they released, it's basically the Inkling Girl, which is also the main version of the Inkling in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. If you want to change it to the boy, you have to actually go to one of the alts. Um, so they just stuck with this one. I don't know if in the future they'll release any of the alts um, as uh, Amiibo. They've rarely done that. Uh, we only have, what, three player two uh, Amiibo? And then if you count Famicom Rob or not... Um, so I don't think they will, but I would buy it. I think it'd be cool. But regardless, I think this this inkling looks really neat and uh, definitely worth checking out. Uh, let's jump to Wolf next right here. Let's see how uh, how this one is. I can already tell there's some great detail on him. Yeah, look at that. Wolf just looks so menacing, and oh man, look at the detail on this. This is phenomenal. So right up close, you see the face, that menacing looking eye. You see the red in the eye, the eye patch. And then look at the his whole design, his jacket and everything. So many sharp edges, uh, these these darker colors, and like the, the purple and pink as well. Um, just kind of give it this flair. Look at that, those little gold like claws coming out of like the shoulder pads. Um, really interesting design. The little belt right there that's unbuckled. Um, but man, the detail is insane. Um, right down to what he's wearing on his feet and knees, all the sharp edges. Like it really just makes him look so menacing and dangerous. Um, and then going to the back, you have the logo right there. Uh, and there's his blaster right there in the holster. Um, again, every little, you know, belt buckle, the little gold dots going around it. Just so much great detail. Um, yeah, they did, they did a great job. Great job with these figures. Um, and then these ones, of course, since they're just kind of standing there as is, they don't need any kind of a stand for... For these ones, at least. Um, so, you can see the Smash logo right at the bottom. Yeah, really, really nicely done. I think uh, if you're a fan of Wolf, I think you'll be very satisfied with this Amiibo. The pose and everything, too. Super cool. Definitely a great, great Amiibo. Ridley is next. Oh, man. Now, this was, of course, a very highly requested newcomer. Uh, really interesting character in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I... I've not really gotten a good hang on this character yet, but playing against people that use Ridley, I don't do well, pretty much. Uh, he can be a very menacing character in the game. And oh man, look at this amiibo. Like, I absolutely love the Super Smash Bros. amiibo. I don't collect all of them, like all amiibo, but all the Super Smash Bros. amiibo? Yes, definitely. And this is just so good. I mean, one, they, they capture some of the scale of the character as well. Because look, Ridley is huge, right? And they had to kind of scale him down a little bit in the game to get him to fit with the characters. But even still, you can kind of see how just the, the wings, everything, like how he's kind of the tail. Like, it just seems more, it just seems so much larger uh, probably than he actually is in comparison. But he just seems big. Um... So they really capture the size and proportion of them well. So let's take an up-close look at this guy here. Um, really, really nicely done. All the detail that you can see on this thing. The jagged edges all over and... Oh man, little gold eye, the teeth and silver right there. Really, really nicely done. His whole body... Little accents of pink there as well. Um, the claws. Sharp edges and stuff here too, right? I mean, he just looks so menacing. Um, and of course you have the wings. Um, which have this uh, cool little design on them as well. So these are a little more smooth. Uh, so they really have a nice texture which matches 
you know, the, the different parts of the body as well. And that tail, look at how dynamic this is. So the tail's fully wrapped around and ready to go. Like, and they did a really, really nice job with this because some of the earlier Smash Brothers Amiibo, they wanted to have dynamic poses. So they have this like giant stand in the middle. They did a fantastic job with hiding that because what they did to have this dynamic tail, the tail is like attached to the part of the leg. But you don't feel that when you look at it. Like when you're looking at it like this, it just feels like it's free flowing. So they did a really nice job with how they designed this action pose. And on top of that, instead of some awkward stand at the bottom, you have kind of like this effect piece of these, um, I don't know what it is exactly, these like crystals or ice or something, but just like outwards. I think that looks so much better than just a plain block for him to stand on. Uh, makes it look so much more dynamic, so much more interesting. Yeah, this is a fantastic Amiibo. The thing about these, these Smash Brothers Amiibo too is even if you don't have Smash Brothers, if you like any of these characters, these are just fantastic to have on your desk for display. You know, like this. This is great. This is a great model of Ridley. But the fact that you can also use it in the game uh, and fight against a Ridley uh, figure player is just... is awesome. So um, they did a really, really nice job with... with with all of these Amiibo, I would say. Um, so out of these three, my favorite would have to be Ridley. Uh, he just looks so dynamic uh, and so just evil and menacing. It just looks fantastic. But all of them, all of them are great. All of them capture the essence of their character. And I I could not be happier with these. They, these, are, these are fantastic. So if you're a fan of Super Smash Brothers, or just if you're a fan of any of these characters in general, I highly recommend them. Uh, Amiibo can be hard to find, so if you do find these at your local store, I would buy them now because trust me, in a couple weeks, months, they will be gone. And, and they reissue things rarely, but I just, I wouldn't take the chance with these. I would not take the chance with the Amiibo. Find them if you can and get them. Um, I, I definitely recommend it. So, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of these three Amiibo. Um, I do have uh, some other Amiibo reviews coming, uh, including more Super Smash Brothers Amiibo when they release soon, so stay tuned for that. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I will see you later.